in a Chicago cafe. The chefs are the best and the menus are so gourmet. The best cuisine on the scene is in Chicago land, USA. Great chefs, great chefs of Chicago. Welcome to Great Chefs of Chicago, a television master class with chefs of some of the finest restaurants in the Chicago metropolitan area. This time, The Cottage and Chef Carolyn Buster. Born on a farm near Hammond, Indiana, she was the youngest of seven girls and began cooking early. As with many of the new generation of American chefs, she did not wend her way through the European apprentice system, but studied here and abroad, then worked a stint with Louis Zathmary of the bakery in Chicago. Chef Buster, with husband and co-owner Jerry, opened the cottage over a decade ago in Calumet City. It is a curious location for the recreation of a French country inn. Calumet City has traditionally been a manufacturing site for Chicago and has been over the years informally annexed into the metro galaxy. It is not exactly Lyon. One food writer described it as the culinary wiles of Chicago. Nevertheless, the cottage has generated richly deserved critical and customer acclaim while winning Mobile Travel Guide Awards since 1978 and Travel Holiday Awards since 1980. Chef Buster processes shallots, which will be sautéed in butter to begin the tarragon butter sauce. Chop them reasonably fine. They'll be cooked down sufficiently that they will kind of melt into the sauce. Once the butter has melted, I like to put the shallots in with the butter rather than adding the shallots once the butter has started to melt because this way they kind of melt together fresh tarragon will be added. At this point, we're not going to add a whole lot of tarragon because we can add a little more later, which will hold the color, but this will give nice taste, and I'm using a tarragon vinegar to go along with it. Once again, we're going to release the flavors at this point, and then add the vinegar. and some white wine and let the mixture cook down. You can see now the butter is starting to brown in the bottom of the skillet, starting to get a rich nut-like color, which again adds taste. The enormous sea scallops are sauteed quickly and will be wrapped in blanched spinach leaves. As I mentioned, we just want to turn the scallops in the butter, coat, seal all the sides, just briefly cook them. Actually, the scallops will be totally cooked by the time the scallops are hot in the middle. So we really don't want to cook them at this point because we want to put them in the oven and steam them in the spinach leaves. The purpose for using the spinach is not only for flavor, but for color and eye appeal. And it also retains the moisture in the scallop. And in this case, where we have a very big one, we'll put a couple leaves on this side before we fold the leaves up. And again, just press the leaves to the scallop. You can see now that the wine and vinegar has just about reduced down to the point 
that we can start adding the butter. We're going to add about a pound, maybe a pound and a half of butter. Again, the amount depends on the amount of reduction, how much liquid remained before the butter was started to be added. the sauce being together. In this case, I don't particularly want it very thick. The more butter you add, the thicker it's going to get. We're going to stop and we're going to add some creme fraiche. A bit of the tarragon beurre blanc is ladled into the bottom of the pan. The scallops go into a 450 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes, covered with parchment paper. More freshly chopped tarragon is added to the sauce before presentation. Three kinds of caviar complete the assembly. The caviars that I'm using are all American caviars. Sturgeon caviar from Wisconsin, whitefish golden caviar, and red salmon caviars. Chicago land, yeah, you get Chicago land.